Everyone. Welcome to Eden's Secret and my soap making from scratch series episode 7 uh, Today we're actually going to make some soap um, And all we're doing today is a one oil soap recipe That oil is of course olive oil to make a castile soap So so simple to make Make such a beautiful bar of soap um, absolutely gorgeous it would be lovely for babies uh, it's got no fragrance or essential oils or anything in it and it's really important that while we're learning how to make soap we don't actually put any fragrances in yet because that creates a whole nother uh, manner of problems once we start to add fragrance oils and I really really want you to get used to making soap uh, that works every time um, before we start adding those or those fragrances or essential oils or clays or whatever it might be so uh, what we're going to need today is a two litre jug we need some olive oil 800, 851 grams of olive oil so as long as you've got a litre you've got enough olive oil it doesn't matter what olive oil whether it's virgin or golden olive oil I tend to steer away from pomace oil I've had quite a few pomace oils in the past some of them worked well some of them seized the soap instantly so I always steer clear of it even though it's quite well known that pomace oil is really good for soap uh, but I don't because I've had a lot of um, a lot of disasters through buying pomace um, we're going to need a smaller jug that's got our lye in I just need to get my other little jug as well this one's in the sink because I've as you're watching it I've actually already used it to make the lye but I'm going to show you how to make the lye you're going to need some safety goggles a mask some weighing scales some gloves the recipe which again i'm going to show you in the in one of the scenes coming up you're going to need a 1.4 kilo mold now you can make molds out of cardboard if you want to you can even use a, a mushroom container that you uh, that you buy your food in just anything will will do uh, just in, in case you can't afford to buy these things uh, you might have something lying around the house that you can actually use uh, you're going to need a blender um, a blender is it sounds crazy this it isn't a necessity but it is a necessity um, it just speeds up speeds everything up um, if you want to make soap a little bit faster if you haven't got a blender you can just keep stirring your oils and your lime mix together until they thicken up but that does take quite some time especially with a castile based olive oil soap that we're making today right so on to the next scene if you missed episodes one through six you can either click the information card in the top right hand corner or click the link in the description box which will take you to the playlist of every episode that we've uploaded so far we're going to continue uploading episodes of soap making from scratch and each one will automatically be added to the playlist okay it's time to open soap calc which obviously is already open on the screen and we're going starting at number one again the type of lie which is going to be NaOH which is sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide creates solid soap you don't want the other two next number two is our weight of oils we're not doing pounds or ounces we're going to be weighing in grams today but I have converted this recipe will convert into ounces and pounds 851 grams is going to be the total weight of oils and our water, water as a percentage of oils, 
isn't going to be 38, it's going to be 25. So 25% water is a percentage of your 851 grams of oil. So the water content will be 25% of 851. Okay. Right, over into the column number four, we're going to be working at 5% super fat with no fragrance. As I've said before, very important in the beginning stages not to use any fragrance to make your soap so you can get a feel of what soap feels like uh, to make without any complications of adding fragrance. The only oil we're using is olive oil, so we add that as number one in our recipe list. And we click the grams and we're going to add 851 grams there because that's how many grams of oil we have it using in our full recipe. Our full recipe is only olive oil, so we don't need to change that in any way. Make sure your oil weight is 100% and then you can click view or print recipe. Okay, so we've got our recipe in front of us and as we go forward, we're going to be adding different oils and butters to our recipe. You can see in this column here that the qualities of this bar don't fit within the range in the column to just to the left of where it says your recipe. The column where it says range, only one of these numbers actually fits within the range. And that's because it's just a one oil recipe. So we can't make it bubblier or more conditioning or less conditioning, that kind of thing. So let's just print this recipe. Okay, so here's our recipe in front of us. Not much of a recipe because basically this is just olive oil, water and sodium hydroxide. We've got the total oil weight here. What is, is a percentage of oils? That means... 25% of this figure is going to be water. We're super perfecting at 5%. And so down here is where it tells you uh, how much light and water and fragrance that to put in your recipe. Obviously, we're not dealing with fragrance yet. It really is so important that you don't make soap with any fragrances because right off the bat, you're going to be making things really, really difficult for yourself. Um, and you'll find out as we go on why. So, one thing with soap calc is it gives you the measurements in pounds, ounces and grams. And what you mustn't do is get these columns mixed up. So, get into the habit until you... Until you're so used to whichever column you're going to be using. You can use any one of these columns you want, depending on where you are in the world. And if you want a copy of this uh, PDF, just get in touch with me through the website and I'll send you it. So it's all there in the measurements that you want to use. Either pounds, ounces or grams, it'll suit. Um, now, we are going to be using grams. So... I'm going to cross out the other two columns just to make sure I don't get mixed up between any other columns. For instance, the the water content in this recipe is 212.75 grams. If I mix that up with this column, it's telling me I only want 7.5. And in your own head, you would be thinking grams, wouldn't you? Uh, 7.5 grams well obviously that's nowhere near enough water uh, to go with the amount of lye that we're putting in here so just make sure you're using the correct column all the time so the amount of water that we're going to be putting into this lye is 212.75 now obviously that's not a rounded up figure or rounded down now because it's nearer to one three I'm just going to round it up to 203 grams that tiny tiny amount is not going to make any difference here 
The reason I'm saying this is because there are hardly any weighing scales that do such tiny measurements, 0.75s or 0.13 or 0.45, anything like that. So just round it up or down. And then the lie concentration, we've got enough soap patter going on that it's not going to make too much difference by either rounding it up or rounding it down. So we'll just round that up to... 110 and then scrap the 52. I know it's a bit messy, but I've tried to get these things to work out so it it ends up on a rounded up or rounded down figure and it's almost impossible. Um well it is impossible. So uh that's the way it's gonna have to be. So that's just your oil. The amount of oil again, 851 grams, no fragrance. And this figure here is telling you how much soap butter you're going to have after all of this has been mixed together. And we know that our, the mould that we bought is 1.4 kilos, so we know 1.2, which is round about what this is, uh, is, is easily going to fit into that mould. I didn't want to make the the recipe 1.4. I thought it better just to keep it a bit less so it's not going to overflow and you've got a bit of a lip above the batter um, for your... if you wanted to put any decorations on the top of your soap or anything. So this recipe is the qualities that this bar is going to have now you can see this is the range here that we should be trying to keep within but with a castile recipe it's impossible to get into this range because we're just using one oil and we can't make it go up or down because we're just using one oil so the range for hardness should be between 29 and 54. Ours is 17. So it says that this is going to be a soft bar of soap. But in actual fact, it's not. It's a nice, nice hard bar of soap. Um, cleansing, it says zero. And that's because it's super conditioning. Um and the range that you would be looking for is between 12 and 22. Now, as we go along, you'll see that these figures here will be start to become within range. They'll all be different, but they will become within range once we start adding different butters and oils. Uh, conditioning should be between 44 and 69. Well, obviously, this is super conditioning this bar of olive oil soap because it's 82 which is way over 69 then bubbly zero we're not going to get any bubbles from olive oil soap but i promise you it is a beautiful bar of soap um out of all the soaps i made last year the olive oil pure castile was my favorite probably just because it felt different to the others and it was a nice change. Um, but don't be put off because it does make a gorgeous bar of soap. Creamy. We are actually within range because the range for creamy is between 16 and 48. And we're just scraping in at 17. Make sure it's on grams. So we're going to put um, 110 grams of sodium hydroxide into here you can put your mask on now as well if you want to
put that to one side then take another clean jug just tear it down to zero now we're going to add our water I'm actually just using tap water don't worry about it it's fine if you're just making soaps of home use and you're not selling them tap water is absolutely fine so let's add some water now so we want 213 grams of water There we go. Right, make sure you've got your window open and that your window, the wind is blowing away. So I'm going to stand on the left side of here while that blows in the opposite direction. Now you don't need to know the weight here because all we're doing is we're just adding the lye into the water. so you just want to keep stirring it until you can feel that it's fully dissolved you might be able to see some fumes coming off there this is why you need your mask and the window blowing in the opposite direction just stirring it gently no vigorous whisking or beating or anything all you're doing is moving your spoon round to make sure you get all those granules off the bottom stirred in because if you don't get them off the bottom they will actually just sink to the bottom and then they'll set and you'll end up with a separated I should have done uh, I should have shown you that actually what happens uh, but it is something I can show you in the future. Um, yeah, it is something I can show you in the future what happens if you don't mix your lye up, your lye and water together properly. So I can tell that this is fully dissolved now. It's starting to clear up. The water is starting to clear up. And I know there's no granules in, I can't feel them and I can't hear them. So I'm just going to leave that to sit. Um, and then in one minute I'll come back and give it a stir. Okay, a minute's passed now. So I'm just back here giving it one more stir. And then we'll be able to leave it. You can come back in another minute and do the same if you want to be sure. But I'll just be leaving mine now to cool down. The temperature right now is 83 degrees centigrade Celsius. 83 degrees Celsius. Now I'm not going to be heating up my olive oil, it doesn't need to be heated up, it doesn't need to be melted because it's warm. One thing you do need though is just to make sure it is clear. If uh, you, You'll know if your olive oil is cold because it will be cloudy. If it's not cloudy then it's at room temperature. As long as your room temperature is warmer than cold. Okay. As soon as we come back, we're going to be measuring our olive oil and we're going to be mixing the lye in with the olive oil. It should only take a few hours for this to cool down to room temperature, if that. Okay, it's now time to pour our olive oil into our jug. So I'm just going to place the jug on the scale and I'm going to tear it so that this letter goes number goes right back down to zero. Just make sure it does. And then we're going to open our olive oil 
and we're going to pour that into the jug until we get to 851 grams if you want to work in ounces or pounds you can do that um you can if you've got a computer which i'm presuming you have because you're watching this video um you can convert any anything online so just if you wanted to say convert from grams to ounces just type into the google search convert grams to ounces and then a a, a box will pop up for you to put any figure into the grams and it will convert it straight away for you same you can do the same with words you know translate google translate um translate english into any language you want as you get nearer to the figure just start to tip it a lot slower into your jug and it doesn't matter if you go over because if you do you can just take a little bit out so you can, could take out or add to at this stage but once you've added your lye and your water you can't uh, change anything after that right so let's just add uh, the lye solution it took about what time is it now it took a couple of hours for this to come down to room temperature so our lie is at 28 degrees celsius i've got to let this machine go off before i turn it back on before i take the temperature of this one because all that happens is it just gives you the same temperature if you press it again so i'm just going to let it go off right it's gone off 22.7 for the temperature of the oil so you can see there is a difference um, it's better if it's closer together but it's no great big deal if those temperatures are not identical um, because I'm going to show you as we make soap uh, that it still works so just gently pour your lye into your oil And a, a not a dirty cloth a cloth I call them dirty cloths but of course they've been through the washer they're in the washer all the time uh, but an old cloth just for something to put your your spoon down on or your blender okay let's immerse this into the oil now so you need your goggles on and don't need your mask at this stage you only need your mask for when you're mixing your lye and your water together
Now this will only be for the olive oil soap, but now it's emulsified, meaning the, the lye has mixed with the oils. And the reason I know that is because it's all opaque now. You can't see any ribbons or streaks of unmixed oil in there. Um, I'm just going to let that thicken up a bit on its own. So I'm going to take the blender out. Because as I said, it does take longer to blend the light with the oils in just a Castile soap. So... I'm maybe going to leave that for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it um, and we'll give it another blend before we pour it into the mould. So good for you. Okay, so it's sat for about 15 minutes. I'm going to give it another blend. I can see it hasn't separated in the slightest bit, so then we're going to pour it into the mould. I'm giving it a stir, it just releases some of the air bubbles that might be in there. You're never going to get rid of all of them. And if you've missed any episodes of Soap Making from Scratch, just take a look in the description box below this video and you can look, watch it through from episode 1 as I've got a playlist in the description. Okay, so now time to take our mould. And just gently pour that into the mould. It's so satisfying, especially when you're making your first soap. actually quite a lot that's still left in your container with the silicon spoons if you want to know where to get them the links are in the description box below the video but also if you're watching the salt making from scratch series you'll see um, everything's listed there every bit of information you need is right there so that's it basically you've made your first soap so now all we need to do is just let this saponify. Let this saponify overnight and we'll see if we can quit it tomorrow. If not, it'll be the next day. Okay, I think it's ready to unmold and cut. And it's actually only been 24 hours, so what I said was a load of nonsense. But I know it's not a load of nonsense because um, I know other people that have done it and they've had to wait for a long time to unmold. So first time unmolding from this new sort molder. There we are, we have a nice piece of soap. I promise you're gonna love this soap, you really are. 
even though it says it hasn't got the qualities that you're probably looking for in a bar of soap, you're still going to like it. So let's take our vegetable peeler and just cut off those edges. See, it is quite hard. And there we have our beautiful piece of Castile soap. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to cut the bar right across like this. Um, so let me just measure those slices so I'm cutting these slices they're actually 3.3 centimeters so we've got one two three four five six seven eight slices out of that but I'm also going to cut them sideways as well because these are just going to be for home use so I just want to cut them into chunks like this and then I'll show you what we're going to do in a second after we've cut all of these it's something you're really going to like because you loved it the first time I did it and a lot of you have been calling for me to do it again. You're thinking, what on earth is she talking about? And this sort of size bar is just a really nice usable size uh, to pop in your hands. This would be a beautiful baby soap, a beautiful facial soap. Obviously, you can use it for your body as well. And remember that old advert that used to be on TV? Was it Lux where they used to create loads of bubbles? on the cheek I think it was looks I mean now you wouldn't think that was a good thing to have a facial soap with loads of bubbles but this is literally almost like a moisturizer for your face going to take the potato peeler again and we're going to trim them all down And I'm going to do a, a lather test at the end. 
so you can see whether it actually has got any lather but I'll be using one of the bars that I made a full year ago as you're watching this at the beginning of lockdown I did a Castile soap loaf so it won't actually be this one I'm doing a lather test on but the recipe is exactly the same honestly if you make this as your first bar of soap you're going to be so happy with it it's beautiful I know you're going to want bubbles with your soap because that's generally um, what we're all looking for is a soap that lathers well um, but there are other qualities as well even without the lather And so, you know, the great thing about doing a craft from home is it's a way to generate a little bit more money for yourself. Also, if you've got depression or anxiety or anything like that, I really do believe having something to get up for each morning and look forward to and like me, I'm not depressed or anything, um, but I have had postnatal depression. I know what it feels like. It's it's absolutely horrific. So I can relate a little bit to those who might have it. Um, having something to get up for each morning and look forward to, such as looking forward to making soap and then looking forward to getting up the next morning to see how your soaps turned out or whatever craft it is that you are interested in doing really is going to help you in life I mean I'm no doctor or anything but I really do believe that and that the other backup for that is how many people have actually told me that this has helped them in their lives Even just watching these videos has helped so many people. And I'm so happy that I can give a little bit of enjoyment to your day if you're one of those people. And my wish for each and every one of you is happiness. Okay, so here we go for the, the really exciting part and that is I'm going to be stamping these. So I'm using the the ES, the wax seal stamp that um, I used in a soap recently. Okay, so Let's pop the, the wax seal on there now. Give it a good whack with the wooden mallet. I didn't want to put any mica or anything on it this time. I just want uh, nice and plain. And it just gives it that authentic touch, doesn't it? Like all olive oil soap has. Um, if you were to buy it from one of those uh, soap makers in the Middle East. 
Well, it seems like salt making originated at least the first recipes for soap uh, that we can find in the world. Um, looks like they were all around the Middle East area. I have to say, I, do, I just love the sil simpleness of this soap stamp as well. And it seems like you all absolutely loved it. Um, I'm really into stamping at the moment, actually. So there you go. That's the soap stamping done. And there we have just some absolutely gorgeous one oil soap, olive oil, lye and water made this beautiful, beautiful soap. Okay, if you've done this, you have now completed your very first soap. So congratulations. Let us know how you got on in the comments. If you did make any soap and you've taken any pictures, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at hashtag Eden's Secret UK. There is a hashtag Eden's Secret, but that's not mine. Uh, but you can still tag to that page as well, um, but it doesn't belong to me. Okay, so let's go and do a, uh, a video of washing our hands with this gorgeous, gorgeous, rich, creamy, beautiful, luscious soap. Okay, so this is a piece of olive oil, pure olive oil casting soap. showing you that it does have just ever so slight bubbling action it is a feel your skin does feel beautiful after you've used it and in this soap making from scratch series i'm going to show you how we get from this with no bubbles to my regular soap making recipe that has fabulous bubbles and is fabulously creamy my friends is what it's all about so as I said before I've got a playlist in the description box below the video to sort making from scratch uh, from episode one this is episode seven we're on now and we're just going to continue with this series having one video every two weeks for you to watch learn and enjoy if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like and share and pop a comment in the description box below the video i'll see you all very soon for another regular video from eden secret coming up not tomorrow but the next day i'm actually continuing on uh, with my royal porcelain inspired uh, soap making videos which I'll probably finish by the end of the week so I'll see you all soon bye bye for now